Hello and welcome. We are live. This is Bart Sky with Quick Brain Power. Today we're going to talk about communication and hypnosis. Great. Communication, I'm sure you guys all know what it is, but it involves a lot of things. So let's get started. There's effective communication, there's interpersonal communication, there's verbal communication, nonverbal communication, listening, presenting being assertive while you're communicating, and then there's conflict resolution. So let's go through it one by one. Effective communication is active listening. So being fully engaged with the speaker, showing interest and providing feedback. Then you have clarity, express ideas with clarity and consistency to ensure understanding. Then you have empathy. Again, this is communication. So as you're talking with another person, you understand and acknowledge another person's perspectives and emotions. And again, we're linking, let me write this in chat. We are linking, we are linking communication and hip, hypnosis as one. <clears throat> because hypnosis is a state of highly focused attention. Basically, it's an instance of time. It's almost as if it's hypnosis is like one, one second of time. And the communication is a duration of time. So hypnosis is an instance of time. Communication is a duration of time. And all of these are time distortions. <clears throat> Again. So after you're, you know, you have active listening, clarity, feedback. Oh, yeah. Active listening, clarity, empathy. Then you have feedback. So assuming you're in a dialogue. So you have, as long as you're not giving a speech on a stage or in a classroom, you're, you're likely to have feedback from a conversation and dialogue. Then you have open-mindedness. It's kind of an interesting one because how can you be recept receptive to different viewpoints? um and ideas it's almost you're open by default i guess if you're talking to someone i guess you're open and if you're not talking you walk away and you're not open <clears throat> non-judgmental attitude um that's easier said than done because sometimes we think we know a story but then it changes and all sort of plot plot twists so then we have flexibility to suit different situations and audiences then we have confidence respect empowerment authenticity adaptability clarifying questions 